Now, before I can start using a MIDI device, let's say like an MPC or an MV8000 or let's say even a Triton keyboard or anything I want to use that has MIDI that I want to sync with my Pro Tools system, I need to set it up in MIDI Studio. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Setups. I'm going to go to MIDI, and right here you'll see MIDI Studio. Now, you open MIDI Studio, you'll see here, we can see our inbox. You can see the IAC driver and the network. Now, click on my inbox right here. I want to add a device. Now, here in my studio, I've got this set up. I use an MPC 500. I'm going to add device. And it's right there below the line. I'll pull it up right here. Now, once you get your device there, you're ready to go. And we're in MIDI device. You can see right here. I'll click on this. And now, I've got this box right here. I'll drag it over here a little bit so we'll see it better. And here I can add my device. Now I've got a name for it, but first of all, I'll get the manufacturer. It's by Akai. And the model number is MPC500. Now I don't see it here. See that? You don't see it at all. So what I normally do is I go here, you go here, and you put it in. You put the name of your device in there. So you have the manufacturer. Then I'll press enter. And it's there. And now it appears in a device name. You see that? It's pretty cool. Now, the device I'm using here, I'm going to have it sync with Pro Tools. I'm going to send MIDI B Clock to it. I want Pro Tools to control the device. Now, you always want Pro Tools to control it. It's a better source for syncing than using the device to control Pro Tools. So that means we want to make sure this device receives MIDI B Clock. So we'll click right here. It says MIDI B Clock. See right there? And now we know that this device receives MIDI B clock. Now, what I also want to do here is I, I already got a picture set up for this thing, because I know where to put the picture at in the uh, library. And it's my picture of my machine. Now, if you see your machine, you can put it in there. You can use a generic picture if you want to. And I'll press apply. And now, hopefully, it's a press apply there. It should show up soon. I'll close this. Oh, right, there it is right there. It shows right there. It is right there. Perfect. Now, since it is sending me B clock uh, to my MPC 5000, take this little thing here and run this right here. And now they're communicating where the M box is sending MIDI out of its port. Now, you'll see here too, as I open that up again, and we'll see the system here. We have ports. So I go to ports. And here, there's only one port in and one port out of my MPC 500. So that's where it checked off, and the inbox knows this. So I'm good to go. Let's close this window. And now we see that we're ready here. We've got this device set up. It's ready to go. And now I can use my MIDI beat clock to sync up with my MPC 500. So I'll close this window here, and to do, to do that, I need to go here, and I will select MIDI Beat Clock, and see it's already enabled. So if yours is not enabled, you got to go here and enable this, make sure this is checked also, and now we're in sync. That means the MIDI time code, Beat Clock source, will be sent from Pro Tools through my inbox to my MPC 500. So I have a sequence in there, it'll play the beat back. But the first thing I'm going to do is I want to check my offset. So the next thing I'm going to do, we're going to check the sample offset to make sure that the MPC 500 has no latency problems. And we'll do that next.